Yes, welcome back. The situation with Bot Light is getting worse every single day. Things are only getting worse for Bud Light. If you purchase more than a 15 pack, you can now get a $15 rebate. Don't believe me? I just googled Bud Light rebate. Look at the first website that shows up. Yep, that's the Bud Light website. The boycott is clearly working, and this is turning out to be one of the worst marketing campaigns I've ever seen. Bump Williams Consulting releases the weekly numbers, and it's now down almost 30% year over year. Their other brands are also impacted. Their next earnings call is on August 3rd, and I think it's going to be a bloodbath. But for some reason, analysts still project a year-over-year -year increase in earnings per share, which I just don't get. I made another Bud Light post earlier this month when it was over $60 a share, but I clearly think it has a lot more ways to go. That green line above me is the 200-day moving average. Once it goes below that, look out below! Hi, it's PJ from Bud Light letting you know that we're giving away free beer all weekend for the LGBTQ plus community. That's right, we're celebrating Pride early and rejecting those hateful protesters who are shooting our product with guns. Hate has no home at Anheuser-Busch. Just kidding. Uh, they're backpedaling hard and just giving in to people who shoot their product with guns and just teaching the right that if you throw a temper tantrum with your weapons, you just get whatever you want in this country. So because Bud Light hates you, uh, crack a cold one this Memorial Day weekend. Why? Because they don't want to be associated with the LGBTQ plus community. And to this I say, they don't have a choice. Bud Light's gay now. And the best thing we can do, the best thing we can do is embrace it wholeheartedly whether they like it or not. The situation with Bud Light is getting worse every single day. I have seen this talk extremely devastating and companies are still on learning from these. I recently came across some different scenarios that happened with this company and the boycott i don't know if you have seen this we have seen the rise of companies coming out to endorse some of these things i don't know the kind of benefit they have after doing this for about three weeks now i've not posted a single video pertaining to board light because i thought it was over but that is not the case from what I have seen. I recently came across this scenario. I don't know when this was told. A lot of people say, oh, it is over. I talked to all my CEOs about this because here we are talking about it in its second month. Yeah. This is a nightmare from hell for the brand. Because and, and the sales don't, they haven't, some brands in Anheuser-Busch have, have had declines get lesser, but Bud Light's still down big. This is worse than New Coke, Old Coke, and it's becoming its own story for the ages. I'll be teaching this one at Harvard. There's no question about it. Because you have to ask yourself, in crisis management, what do you do? Because if you go to the other side and try and balance the gender narrative, you're going to get a whole new onslaught of people yeah. that don't like that. And there have been bars that have banned all Anheuser-Busch products because Bud Light tried to distance itself from Dylan Mulvaney and what happened. So the lesson learned and what everybody should think about in every consumer product category, when you take polarized positions on any narrative, you are going to alienate 50% of your consumer 100% of the time. So if you're willing to do something very controversial because you think it's going to go viral in a positive way, you need to analyze the downside in a negative way as well. In consumer goods and services, Republicans drink beer, Democrats drink beer, some believe in the gender neutrality, some don't, but they all consume your product. So if you know that with certainty and you have billions of dollars of capitalization at stake, why would you go down that road in the first place? And so if I were a board member there saying, show me who's responsible for this, because at the end of the day, when you go into new territory, consumer goods or services, 
like changing the flavor, as Coke found out decades ago. Yeah, yeah. You need to own that as the CEO. If you're the man or woman running this thing, you need to own it 100% because you can't blame it on a brand manager. You can't blame it on an advertising agency. You own it. And so now what's happened within corporate America, and I can assure you this has been a conversation in every boardroom, is who's running brand here? Who's deciding what networks we post on? Who is actually doing our social media? Who is actually calling the shots on the content? Because never before has the control of content after those frames leave and get posted, you don't have control of it anymore. According to this article published by the Daily Mail, Bud Light has been hit with another blow after fans at Joy Street concerts were caught on camera deliberately avoiding the beer and pumping for other options. The brand owned by Hausa Bush team up with trans influencer Dylan for an advert we all know. Footage posted on Twitter shows dozens of cans of Bud Light and other Ahosa Bush products remaining on the shelves in Columbus, Ohio, while fans of the King of Country bought other beverages. Budweiser and Ultra were also left on the shelves of the fridge thought it was unclear if the boycott of all house boot product was intentional or not. This is concerning. This is something I actually thought it is over. One man grabbed a blue can, but it was unclear if it was bought light or not, or not, while others continue to drink ultras with one person saying, but they are drinking ultra they are still giving they are still giving money to house output but they think they are doing something to the makers of bot light many were quick to press the supposed ban on the light beer saying we have been to an aaa baseball game and an mnb game this season the grab and go stands full of house Bush product didn't get torch the ballpark have mostly bought products available and beer sales are way down. So you see exactly what this is actually causing this company. I really wonder those who came out to say, oh, this we're wasting time. Look at where it has tilted this company. About 20 billion within the space of two months. If this proceed, then I really wonder what will happen in the days ahead. I will say this clearly, never ignore a boycott. Because some people say, no, it's just, a you know, when they start this within one, two days, it is over. People are not talking about this much, but a lot of people are boycotting the product. It is like part of them. So you can see exactly what is going on. So if you say, you know, because you are not seeing that on social media, like the first two weeks, we were posting back to back that the boycott is over, you are lying. You need to actually do research to understand what is happening to this company. Some of these companies that recently came out with satanic dresses, they are facing almost a similar situation.